everyone, today we are going to do unboxing video for this product from Timu. So I got this U-shaped four tire U-shaped bookshelf and side I hate cups. You hate cups. There. So this is how they are packed. Okay? This is super heavy. Okay? Put this aside like this. This is how it is if you take a video with your kids around. So. Yeah. I don't know how many. Oh, this is a, a wait. I think they're a combination between white and wooden color, and they have a clear all white color. So you can choose your color. I'm gonna put it all out like this first before we assemble it okay if you heard someone talking in the background that's my kids or if you have heard airplane in the background because we live close to the airport so okay i think this is not gonna take forever to build i hope so But that's on the inside where the yeah. slots are. So. And check those sides. Maybe they slipped it in. Is it between any of the sheets of wood? Well, I don't think they come with a manual, so... We have to... It looks like we have to guess around on... Is it in there? One of those no, boxes? This is not box. Oh. This is out the port. I don't know why. Check the no box. Check the box again. Check every crevice of it. Nothing? Nothing. Okay, my mistake. I'm sorry. Apparently, it's not only one box. It's two boxes. So this is the second box for the bookshelf. So we're going to open this one. Maybe the hardware and the instruction book or manual is in here. Okay? Let's open this and see. Inside. Okay. So. Yep. <laughs> so there's the manual right here and i'm not sure what is the sticky for but we'll figure it out when we check the manual okay and i got this part right here i'm gonna put it over here first i think those are the backing boards 
The what? It goes on the back of it. And this? The sides. Maybe I'll put this side here. Right? This really, really happy. I mean, like both. This, this box was heavy and this is also heavy. Well, I got two big items like this from Timu and the other one is for the kitchen. That's the reason why I was mistaken. I thought it's only one box for this bookshelf. Apparently there's two. Means the one for the kitchen is only one box. I hope I'm right. If we lost one box for it, I don't know. I don't feel like I have to deal with it. Mm -hmm. They have a number on the back here. They give you the number for where it should go, I think. Right? Or if my husband was doing this, means yes. Okay. And this is all the screws. Look at that. This is all the screws in here. And thank you for this project. Okay. I love you so much. <laughs> well, don't worry. I have one more. Mm. The one for the kitchen. I can't wait. So I got this bookshelf and kitchen counter. Apparently, the bookshelves came in two boxes. And I hope the kitchen counter is only that one box. I don't know if they're going to send me one more box, but let's see. Let's assemble this one first and see how it goes. Ooh, this one is heavy. Gonna, I think this is more than two hours project, I think. It'll take me five minutes because I'm not good. You're showing off. <laughs> okay, so, that's my so this is it. Uh, build it together. Well, my husband is going to build it and I'm going to videotape it. So, <laughs> we will, I'll show you how it built a little bit here and there while my husband doing it. And I'll show you how it looked like after I put it in the corner for the bookshelves, okay? So that's all the screws right there. Okay, the slides thingy. So everything's right there. And this is what we have to work with. So we're gonna... We're gonna build this right now. And... We will see how long it takes and how it looks like, okay? The oh, so the letter is to mark what it, to use it for, right? What to use it for, right? Mm -hmm. So all this bag's been lettered. I think these are for... Say it again? You they're, think what? They're like bumpers or to slide the unit without scratching anything. Oh. Okay. And it's got a letter designation Q. Okay. So, let's find out what Q is. Oh my god. Yeah, it's not that bad. Not that bad? No. Mm -hmm. Now, where's the legend? Really? No legend, Tina? Thanks for the legend. What's legend? It's a... It shows what everything is and means. Hmm. Like, every every letter, and then it would be, give a description on what it is. Hmm. Well, they show like it a, to it's you. It's like a key. Is it? Yeah. Wait, well, there's no letter on here. It's just numbers. Hmm. Maybe in the back? Is there numbers on there? 
Yeah, there's numbers on there's numbers on the on the boards. Okay. But there's the letters so on the That's six. On the screws. So Okay, six of the shelves. Okay. Are we gonna do it? Start it? And I think this is just how it's supposed to be. It's just pictures of it. There's no explanation on this instruction book. The manual is just pictures of the parts and how it's gonna look like and all the screws like like this one. I don't know. Let's just start doing it and see how it goes as we put it together. Okay, since building this shelves taking forever we take more than three hours especially with us having a kids running around so there's a few part of this video that i'm gonna fast forward you will notice there's a lot of fast forward on this part while my husband making the shelves see he's building it but he's being really careful there's a few chips here and there but not major so it's still good for me it's just like a scratch here and there but it's not that big and my husband lining up every part carefully before he start uh put the screws in any of the parts so yeah by the way timu furniture descended from a local warehouse and it's look exactly like any other shelf or furniture that you buy from amazon so or ikea so yeah i think it's worth to try it out okay, you gotta use these doodads this is number five right this is number five mm -hmm. you're using the a and b bolts <clears throat> bolt and uh, locking thing. See right here? This is look It's going to go into plastic, so you're going to want to use a screwdriver because you don't want to drive it in too much and to strip out the plastic. Oh, there's a plastic on the bottom here? Yep. Mm. And what this does is, there's plugs in. See, show those plug holes over there. In here. In here. And here. When that goes in, see right here? There's a little hook. It's going to hook onto this screw. Boop. And then lock. Lock it in. Mm, okay. That's how it works. So let's go install these. Yeah, and make sure when you hook it, put it in there. See this side? That gives you the clearance to get past the bolt so that you can catch it. We're nowhere near done, but it's not that bad. Oh, I missed the board. I can install it now, though. I'll need another. Board. So apparently, we're missing one board. We forgot to put it in. It's hard to see in the instructions. It's kind of hiding behind another piece. For the next tower, we have what number is this one? Number two, right? The bottom, number one. It's three, three and oh. four. So for the second tower, we have number three over here, and then we have number six, and number nine, and this one is number four that we're gonna put it together. Okay, let's do it. 
FYI, make sure you check the size of the furniture or the product that you buy online. No matter where you buy it from, always check the size. Otherwise, you don't know if you buy a miniature product or a miniature furniture or a miniature sofa or stuff like that online because we don't see the product until we get it. So the best way to do it before we buy the product, make sure we check the size on their description or on their uh, seller, you know, just to be sure that we get the actual size of furniture or sofa or stuff like that. Yeah. The second tower is done. There you have two towers done. Now we move on to the middle part, right? Okay. Number 13. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I'm also going to need six K screws. Six what? K screws. K screws. The instructions are a little unclear. I think
we have this to put it over the screw like this to cover it up so this is the overall look of this bookshelf okay i mean like the woods it's quite sturdy i like how it looks they're pretty but my only problem was on this compartment right here because this side it's exactly in the position and it doesn't go all the way in or the way out like all the way out it's just nicely even but this one it's a little bit go inside that you can see the screws in the side like that which is see it's go all the way like that i was hoping it stays like the one on the side so yeah so this is the overall look we will see how it look likes after I put it in the corner I was planning on putting it in that side okay the last part that I haven't put on is this so it's the anchor for the shelf to the wall so I'm gonna put this later and here it is this is the final looks of the bookshelves but instead of putting books in it i put my kids toys i love this the the color of the bookshelf and the size is just perfect so if you want to check the product out the link i put it down below i hope you like the whole video thank you for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye